What's going on guys? I'm Chris and this is Palmer Aquatics. I'm filling my house full of fish tanks and things are getting chaotic. Today we're going to be setting up an aquarium specifically set up for electric blue acaras. I've had a bunch of these in the past and I'm getting some in the mail and I'm really excited so let's get to setting up the aquarium. First things first, let's talk about the electric blue acara and the fact that it's a cichlid. These fish grow from anywhere between 4 to 6 inches and they need an adequate amount of swimming space. So we're talking a larger size aquarium. I would say nothing smaller than a 30 gallon aquarium. And that's actually the exact size we're going to use. So the electric blue acara is a South American cichlid. Well, it's actually a super hybridized fish and doesn't know like what it's like to be back in the Amazon. But when setting up the aquarium for a cichlid of this nature, I would say good filtration because cichlids have a heavier bio load, maybe some big driftwood. I'm kind of sensing some like tannins in the water, you know, South American cichlid tank setups. They're dark water. They got big pieces of driftwood. Uh, they're slow moving waters. You know, they don't you don't need too much current. All right, guys, let's take a quick break because my electric blue cars just showed up in the mail and actually a company by the name of Koi Companion sent them to me and I'm really excited about this. So they're in this box right here. A huge shout out to Koi Companion. They sent me these free fish. I did a podcast talking about how passionate I am about these fish. I'm also going to be using one of these Higer heaters in the aquarium. It's a 30 gallon tank. Well, I guess I technically a 29 gallon tank and these Higer heaters are boss. I absolutely love them. They work super great. I've been having tons of issues with aquarium heaters in the house. This heater is a boss. No joke. All right, so we need to get back to working on this tank setup for these electric blue acaras. First, I'm going to unbox this heater. Uh, this is what it looks like. This is a 500 watt heater. It has a built in thermostat. I absolutely love these heaters. I'm going to say it over and over and over. What I did was I mounted the thermostat controller right above the tank right here. And I can literally just kind of like push the buttons and set it. And it also tells you a live temperature of the tank. Like, I couldn't ask for more and when I turn this thing up to heat this 30 gallon tank it does it within a matter of like minutes I absolutely love that extra power when it comes to aquarium heaters so let's open the electric blue acaras this these are some of my favorite cichlids again these were sent over by Koi Companion huge shout out to Paul I love you man thanks for sending over these fish I always get super nervous though when I'm opening fish that sent me in the mail just because I get super like uh, uptight about if the fish are stressed. You know, if you've ever had fish, if you've ever received fish that are dead in the box, it's such a terrible feeling and I'll just never get past it. All right, I don't know why I'm being a buzzkill. These fish are going to be all right. These are strong electric blue acaras and they're usually for the most part pretty strong fish. Now, if you're researching where to buy your electric blue acaras or when to do it, my only advice to you is to buy the largest electric blue acaras you can just because the older the fish is, the more sturdy and likelihood of it surviving through childhood they have. Here's me checking the temperature of the bag of the fish coming in. Obviously, these are tropical fish, so we're going to need anywhere between temperatures of 79 to 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Taking a thorough look at these fish when they came in, they look pretty good. So uh, the only thing you really got to worry about is the smaller they are, the more susceptible they are to ick and other illnesses. And sometimes just the transitioning for the fish is just harder on them because they're smaller. So if you can get your hands on some uh, larger size ones, obviously that's best case scenario, but that's kind of tough to come by because people are, you know, they're not getting rid of these fish. So here is the 30 gallon tank right here. Gosh, look at these. Aren't these guys beautiful? They're a little light and colored, but that's to be expected when shipping fish, you know. So like I told you guys, uh, my aquarium setup for these electric blue cars is exactly that South American feel. Uh, we got a bunch of driftwood in here. We got some floating duckweed. You know, um, hopefully things go well and these fish are going to do well. I got a couple guppies in there to kind of disperse some, you know, aggression. I found that South American cichlids, you know, they kind of like to kind of throw around some of their like aggression to smaller fish. And it kind of, uh, it builds a confidence per se to the cichlids themselves. Let's see if I can net all four of these fish with one netting. Wouldn't that be crazy? Of course I did it. I'm a master. 
No, I'm kidding. But uh, I actually did really do it. So this tank is near a window. I'm a little worried about the algae, but I think we'll be fine. So we're going to put these fish in there and give it a week or two and see how they do. And hopefully, fingers crossed, they, they do well. So I guess uh, we'll do an update and I'll wait for this. So let's, uh, yeah, we'll come back, guys. All right. So it's been a couple weeks since we have done the video and put the electric blue cars in their new aquarium setup. Here's the tank right here. It's a 30 gallon tank, as I said before. It's an ideal setup for electric blue cars. Maybe not super long term, but maybe if I just had like, my, my goal is here is to just do a breeding pair in this tank. So um, I don't wanna get too close because they are pretty shy. So to update you guys on how the fish did, we lost two of the electric blue Acaras. And I know it sort of sucks, but it is what it is. Um, I think what's happening here is I got a bunch of males. I think I got all four males, which sort of sucks. Um, and also we're dealing with some ick just because these males are kind of uh, fighting with each other. But I think once we can, you know, get past the ick and figure out the aggression levels, I think these fish are gonna do fine. What we're gonna probably do is split up these team two males and I'm gonna try to find a female. So see if we can get a close up. I literally threw in some salt yesterday. So there is a case of ick. And the reason I'm showing this is because this is, this does happen in real life. You know, I, my house is full of fish tanks, as you can see, like I'm not, I'm not trying to fool anyone. Things like this actually do happen. And what I did to treat the ick in the electric blue cars is I cranked up the temperature to like 80, I want to say 81, 81, yeah. So it's set at 81 and the heater is on. And uh, what you do with ick with cichlids, it's really easy. You turn the temp up and I added one tablespoon of salt for every three gallons of water. So we did 10 tablespoons of salt in here yesterday and these fish are gonna be healing up. These cichlids heal up real easy. Um, it sort of sucks, but what happens is they, they're just, they're, they're aggressive and the little males are just feisty little critters. So it, uh, it's, it's good to know that if you can get different sexed electric blue cars, male and female, it's gonna be a lot better. Uh, this was maybe worst case scenario at all males. I was pretty worried about it. I even threw in some dither fish, some guppies. So guys, without further ado, this is my lifestyle. I know it's crazy. Um, this has kind of been the electric blue car aquarium setup journey. So please let me know in the comment section what you think of it, uh, please. I want to hear from you guys in the comment section. Are you researching how to set up an aquarium for your electric blue cars? Are you looking for researching the, the tank you already have set up? I'm trying to see what these guys are doing. Uh, literally, all you have to do is just sit there and watch your fish. And you will sort of like figure out what's going on. Those water stains are just killing my OCD right now. That's how crazy I am. See the lines right there? The tanks must look beautiful as ever. Look at this tank right here, guys. This tank is crazy. These are pea puffers. These are all rhizome plants. Well, I guess that's 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 an Amazon sword, and we're just using root tabs on that. Yeah, look at these little guys. Little, uh, what do they call these? Death beans? I forget. It's absolutely crazy. All right, guys, without further ado, electric blue Acara tank setups.